who knows all the countries in the world or even knows the basics about these countries. In this small series, I would therefore like to give you a little overview. And that includes a brief overview of the most important data on their political system. And today it is about Mongolia. And uh, that is already the official full name of the country. The form of government is a parliamentary democracy with a constitution based on the rule of law. The head of state is Kaltmar Batulga, president of the republic. He was appointed on July 10th in 2017. He's from the Democratic Party. The head of government is Lufsanamsrai Oyun Erdene, prime minister appointed on January 27th, 2020 from the Mongolian People's Party. The foreign minister is Batmunk Batsasek, appointed on January 27th in 2020. On the Human Development Index, they rank 99th place. The poorly populated, because only 3.2 million inhabitants, ethnically largely homogenous, with 94% Mongolian state of Mongolia, has made considerable progress in terms of democratization and the development of market economy, economy structures. The 1992 constitution provides for a separation of powers between the legislature, government and judiciary. Freedom of the press and freedom of expression is guaranteed. Mongolia has a multi-party system. The largest parties represented in parliament are the Mongolian People's Party, the MVP, which is currently the ruling party, and the Democratic Party, the DP, as the opposition party. Mongolia is organized centrally and has 21 AMAX, that's provinces, headed by governors. The capital Ulaanbaatar has a special status. The geographical location between the two great powers, Russia and China, is decisive for Mongolian foreign policy. They pay attention to close relationships with their immediate neighbors and at the same time try to maintain their independence. In addition, they maintain close relationships with their third neighbors, Japan, South Korea, USA, Germany and the rest of the EU. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel. Auf Wiedersehen.